Hi there. Uh, with your beginner's uh, tubing kit for 25 taps, you're going to get 500 feet of lateral line, a nice wound tubing there. You're going to get 25 drops for your trees. You are going to get a number of end of line couplings. You're going to get a number of taps for your trees. You're going to get a number of T's. And you get a number of unions um, in case a squirrel bites through your line. You'll also have a metal uh, come along tool to help you pull things together when it's ready to go. That's what comes with the kit. A couple of useful uh, uh, things to have around is a couple hot water um, to um, push your um, tubing onto the T's and stuff. Makes it a little bit easier. And then something to cut the tubing with, um, either pipe cutters or a utility knife or something like that. Uh, hammer and nails also um, useful in this um, project. So with that, let's get tapping. We're gonna start running our lateral line. Um, and I'm using a couple of groups of trees here on our property for example today, but um, really wanna look at the slope here land. We've got a pretty good slope here. We've got a couple of groups of sugar maples here and here and a little bit further down. And we have our collection point down there. I've got a five gallon bucket we're gonna to work towards. So basically the process is you wrap your hose around a tree Use your end um, coupling to hook it together. It'd be kind of like that. You can see a picture. Um, and then weave. So we're gonna um, get started with that process until we pick up step two, which is um, putting in the T's um, to run the drop lines. So step one, run your ends and weave down to the end and we'll um, see what it looks like at the bottom in a little bit. So we're here at our first tree. Um, I've got my lateral line that I'm about to start. I've got a cup of hot water to make it just a little bit softer. I'm just going to dip that in there for just a couple seconds. All right. It's just enough to make it a little bit more supple. Here, I'm going to start here. I've got my end of tube coupling right there, if you can see it. And I'm just going to press this guy on, just press it on all the way. Okay, and then pull that tree tight, and voila, you have started your lateral line. Now we're going to weave uh, through our woods here for a little bit, and um, then we'll see you down at the end. All right, so we're here at the end um, of where we're going to stop for our, our, our collection point. Um, I've run the line from up the hill a little ways. You can see I've got a little bit of sag in my line. I'm going to tighten that up. Um, you obviously want your line to be perpetually sort of downgraded. It only takes a degree or two um, to make sure the sap is flowing downward. Um, and you may have to adjust that as the season goes on if you have any drips or, do, or dips in your line. Um, and that can be done by you know, using uh, trees that are nearby to uh, bring it up to the point you want it to be. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna finish this one up and then we'll, um, we'll start uh, doing our tees. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to finish up sort of where, um, where you wanna be for your, um, your collection point. I've got a pair of um, tubing cutters, make a nice square cut. You can use anything, utility knife, but these are handy. Um, and make a nice square cut. Now I've got my, my coupling. I'm gonna use my hot water again. Make it a little bit easier on myself. Now you're going to use your coupling. There's a little hole in it or a little hook on it. And put a nail. So 
we did pull it pretty taut to get to this point. Uh, you want to do that. We will. Get, it will get tauter as we cut little sections out to put our tees in. So, um, but it is something to think about. You want it fairly taut as you as you go. Um, to finish this, we're going to grab another little section of, of tubing, which is now a little bit of a mess. We're going to get one in warm. Connect it onto our coupling. And then give ourselves enough to get down into our bucket. And there we go. We can put that into our bucket for our collection point. So included with your pack is this kind of nifty little come along tool. Um, and the way you're gonna use this is that it has a couple of slots on it. The smaller slot is actually sized for this size tubing. So you're gonna get close to your tree where you wanna run your tap, right? You put one in there with the line on it. You're gonna put another one a couple inches down. Make sure you get them all the way in there so they're tight. All right, and then you're gonna put the third one a little bit further down yet. Okay. So those should be pinched on there good. All right, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cut the line here, to make space for the T, and this is gonna hold it in place, or at least that's the theory. So I'm just gonna make a cut. Oh. So I've got it there, got it there. You can see I can pull it back together again so I can actually get my tea on there with only one person being around, right? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna sort of let that hang for a minute. I'm gonna get my hot water so I can get my tea in there. Okay, so you're gonna grab your tee, you're gonna use your tee so the, the um, ends are opposing one another. Right, so I'm gonna put that one on there first. Okay, so I'm gonna let that end go for right now. Grab the other end and soak it. Okay. And then in there there we go all right so there your T is installed now we're gonna put our lateral on Soak it. And we're gonna go on the one that's perpendicular to your others. Get that on there nice and tight. Okay. And now you can see the top of this one, the T is actually um, is actually filled. And what that's for is so when you're not sugaring, um, either before the season, like now or after, you can plug that guy right in there like that and it's deadheaded. So nothing can get into your lines um, and uh, you know cause any contamination. And then when you're ready, pull that out, plug your, um, put your tap in there and then you want to start up high. Um, so usually the idea is to start kind of furthest out that you can reach with your lateral line or, you know, sorry, with your, um, with your drop. So you start like on this side of the tree. And then as you clip your um, taps off every year, you're going to kind of come in this, this way. 
and you'll come down the tree until it's too short and then you'll put a new one on. So you should be able to get several, several years out of this um, before having to um, replace your drop lines as much as you know, and you have to replace all the tubing. So um, as always, you may have to adjust your tension a little bit here. I feel like I probably need a little bit more tension on this line, but um, that is how you run your lines.